Oh, what's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more No Man's Sky. And today we are gonna give what well, we're gonna get our living frigates. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Hopefully, you guys enjoy if you do like, subscribe, all the fun things. So, a little bit of backstory here because, like I said, I, I, wanna, I like to be transparent with completely everything that I do on these games. You know, I'm not trying to hide nothing from nobody. I ran through about a hundred frigate missions. And the reason I ran through about 100 frigate missions is because there was an item that I'm trying to unlock. There's an item that you unlock from doing these random frigate missions called the Dream Aerial. Now, you run through these missions when you successfully complete a mission, you have a chance to get this. I, like I said, I ran through about 100 and I never got one. Um, I spent probably five or six hours um, just doing that. And the way to basically do that is you go in offline mode and you can change your clock, you know, so the expeditions finish like, you know, faster and stuff like that. So um, that's how I did that. I never got it. So you might be like, well, how did you get this? Well, lucky for me, um, the No Man's Sky save editor got updated and I only use that tool for the sake of content creation. So luckily it got updated and luckily I can unlock the ability to make this since I could not get it the actual way I tried the actual way and actually here let's let's look at a little bit of proof here um here's my fleet of frigates all these a class and b class frigates were brand new I they were all c class so like all of these here let's look at this one has 151 successful encounters this one has 181 successful encounters 132 so yeah like i did actually try <laughs> i promise i did and i just want to let you guys know so if you're having issues getting it you can use the save editor however i recommend being very very careful with the save editor because it's very tempting to just unlock everything and just like you ruin the game for yourself so use it very carefully anyways let's go ahead let's build the dream aerial here so we need solar mirror and living glass um i should have I thought I had some living glass already. So I have glass. Actually, I probably can go ahead and craft living glass if I'm not mistaken. Um, lubricant. Lubricant is fa Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Let's go harvest some plants. I have some plants over here. Our plants are doing fantastic, actually. Um, and we should actually be able to go ahead and harvest all plants like this. Ooh. You get quite a few. We get like we get 200 of each. That's super nice. Okay, so that was the fast. Oh, we only got 50. What do I need for lubricant? Oh, 50 exactly. How much lubricant do I need? I need one lubricant for every uh living glass. Well, that's a bummer because I don't think I'm going to have any other any other face Uh, you know what we're, we might actually have to go out and collect that oh gosh we're gonna have to collect that by hand it's gonna be terrible all right so we're gonna go plant aside we're gonna feed some critters so we can get some poopsies and uh <laughs> get the get the face or whatever we need to make this happen i'm hoping there's some critters down here this is an icebound planet so i'm sure we'll find something hopefully they're friendly Okay, we got a we got a critter here. Recently fed, perfect. All right, we're gonna hope that more critters come out here. Hello. Can you make a can you make a poop for me? That would be fantastic. Oh, there's more critters over here. Um, let's see. This one's probably nice. That one's probably not. Oh, do you want fed? There you go. Oh, you look like you're going to make a giant poop. Do you want fed too? I think you need fed. <gasps> Yay, look at you. Good job. All right, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to collect this stuff up. And then uh, we'll, we'll come back. All right, the poop has been collected. <laughs> we got the poop. So now we should be able to go ahead. Uh, let's go in our cargo here. Let's go ahead and make. Oh, don't tell me I'm at a gamma root. I 
I'm out of gamma. I'm literally four of, oh my gosh. I'm four, four gamma root away. Um, you know what? We're gonna have to take a teleport here. Let's teleport back to my, you know, did we ever finish filling out my garden? I have absolutely no idea. Let's go teleport there and let's see if I can find, uh, I'm hoping I did. Man, that would be nice if I did. All right, it has been a long time since we've been back to my base. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see how this looks. Uh, okay. Is this... Yeah! Okay, cool. Let's pop down in here. And you know what? I probably should go ahead and just collect everything. Anyways, just in case we need it for something. But hopefully I have all my plants planted to a point so I can get everything I need. Well, there's the 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 fascium, facium. That's not necessarily a great room. Oh, good gamma root. Okay, that's what I needed to finish off our thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest all of these, and that's it. Okay, cool. Um, hey, look, it's a trader. Let's go ahead and head. Let, let's head back. Oh, you know what? Can we warp back to our freighter? I don't have the teleportation terminal built in my freighter yet darn it okay so there's the lubricant so now we should be able to make our living glass then we should be able to make oh my gosh yes the dream aerial finally we have done it we're gonna set it there okay so now what i need to do um carry this antenna into deep space may attract the attention of cosmic megafauna so let's put that let me actually swap that into my main cargo we're gonna put that there and then we are gonna go into deep space and we're gonna see if we can't attract some megafauna aka gigantic space whales that will become frigate missioners um i mean it's only it's only we have to take the living ship All right, here we go. Let's do it. And we are gonna just pulse on out of here and we're gonna try to find ourselves. Oh, it said it's slumbering. The dream area is slumbering. Activate the pulse drive to search for cosmic mega fauna. Now, I wonder if I have to build one every time I wanna find one. Or if we can use the same one over and over again. Oh, the only Innova she? A colossal glorious creature dressed in my starship appearing to swim through the vacuum of space. A haze of stardust glitters around it like it's nothing I've ever seen. Traveler, in the infinite fates, we have converged. Serenity and peace wash over me in the presence of an ancient creature. It feels profoundly familiar as though we've always known each other. Your, your warp to my weft woven together in cosmic tapestry. Um... I'm glad to be together. Ask, ask about the tapestry. I've seen your fate intertwined with mine many times over, my friend. Should I join your freighter's fleet once again? Come, let us dream together. Dream together! The whale-like creature opens its throat. A resonant lullaby sweeps over me, bathing my consciousness in waves of euphoria. The creature's voice grows distant. A strange vision is manifest in my mind. Feel, move, wake, look. We're going to feel... I am swimming with weightless limbs across the oceans of stars. A system of celestial bodies pulls into focus. Three worlds invite me closer, yet I know my time here is fleeting. Only one planet can be reached. I tuck my limbs in tight and dive towards a bustling alien metropolis. Indium veined mountains, a megafauna ecosystem. Oh, a megafauna ecosystem. I understand, Traveler. I begin to see you more clearly. Show me more. The creature's lullaby draws me onward. My body is on its own as one. We swim through the dream. I stand on the exposed surface of a heat scorched desert. Sulfurous clouds roil above the sky rumbles, and my suit issues a warning. A firestorm approaches. Patiently wait and refuel. The creature modulates its song in my response to those. Though I am shaping the visions, I sense this is only, this is the only in, in, in Yovishis? 
way of finding its own place in our partnership so i believe that these choices that we're making is is dictating what kind of um frigate this is going to be the image shift to find myself on the bridge of my capital ship alarms blaring power levels critical all systems failing the engineering crew need time to make repairs but opportunistic pirates will likely strike the vulnerable freighter enemy what conserve power divert power to high drive signal authorities for help um so let's go with conserve power creature's song unfurls into language i find myself fluent in every major alien tongue time passes unconventionally and i spend a rewarding day training with and learning the customs of uh let's go with the geck the geck are kind of interesting looking little dudes even though they're kind of jerks but <laughs> the visions darken and intensify i creep through a derelict freighter the grotesque egg sacks hanging from the ceiling oozing and quivering the sacks are many and i am alone um extract a stack to study shoot the sacks make a tactical exit <laughs> a tactical exit let's study a distress signal leads me to a remote sector in space i discover a pilot adrift their space their ship in tatters their fuel tank dry as i draw on near an outlaw makes a flee makes to flee the scene um gift the pilot spare fuel mine fresh tritium seize the outlaws fuel let's give the pilot some spare fuel I'm lost in an unknown galaxy, familiar with stars. A threat crackles in my ears. Surrender your cargo or die. The hostile starship, well armed, is loadout superior to mine. It would be a tough fight. Negotiate a deal. Shoot before they do. Outmaneuver them and flee. We're going to shoot before they do. The song is beginning to fade. I gaze across the horizon of a breathtaking planet. Exotic herds graze peacefully on a fragrant grass, sprawling underground caverns, brim with tremendous wealth. I could linger or leave this world as I found it discover every species bring out every resource pause only to refuel let's discover every species the dream recedes reality reasserting itself face reality i see you now my friend i see the wanderlust your fleet needs from me i'm ready to begin our partnership adopt into a frigate fleet now let's see what okay so combat three exploration 16 industrial one trade three so i'm gonna guess that the questions that we answer probably affect these stats so in the future we probably need to change our answers a little bit maybe you know if we want to get a combat focused one we we focus more on the combat side and then instead of exploration um industrial probably um you know getting the resources out of things um trading yeah yeah that's awesome okay cool so we've got that now do we still have so we still have a dream aerial now can we do this again carrying this antenna in deep space may attract attention of cosmic megafauna so like what happens if we just go I wonder if it's just like a chance now, like we keep it on us and we have a chance to randomly in, incur, like interact with um, one of those like random events. Probe detected. That's okay. You can probe. Go ahead. I don't have anything to hide. Oh, shoot. I have nip nip buds. Surrender nip nip buds one. You can have them. I forgot I had those. <laughs> you know what? Let's head back to the freighter. Let's go back to the freighter first. Actually, let's just call the freighter over here. Um, and let's see what happens here with our living frigate, which is... right there okay good i was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to show up i have a lot of damage freighters right now i need to go through and fix them all but i want to try to focus on getting more of these living frigates okay so let's manage our fleet here and take a peek 
Um, feed vessel digest and redistribute stats. Interesting. So different foods are going to have different effects. So we are actually going to have to focus on making some foods eventually as well. Probably through the nutrient processor. Okay, so that's pretty neat. Now, this thing. Let's do this. Let's put this into the freighter. Um, let's put that in there. And then I'm going to take it back out and put it back in my inventory. And I'm going to see if it does anything. Because I'd like to find another one. And you know what? Actually, just to make sure. Let's go ahead and let's warp out of here. Uh, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to this system here. And then we'll pulse around there. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a limit to per, like, one per, per system or not. But... Let's just try. Let's just try a new system. Let's see what we can do. Let's see how many of these things we can get. Oh, is this a pirate system? Don't tell me this is a pirate system. Uh, no, it doesn't look like a pirate system. All right. Now, is there a log? So let me go to my uh, log here. Is there one for... There's not. Okay, I was curious to see if there's one for the... Um, the thing in our inventory. But let's just go ahead and let's pulse around. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, look at it. We got, a, uh, we got one of these eggs. I haven't got one of these for a long time. Pulsing heart node. Very nice. I was about to say, uh, I've been pulsing around for about 30 minutes. And I've only gotten like two of those things. Like one of that was one and then a trader was another one. And that's it. So um, I'm actually thinking that maybe... Maybe we should craft another one of these? Like a new one? I don't know if they're a one-time use thing or not. I would assume they're not if it doesn't get used, but um, I think we might go ahead and craft another one just to kind of see what's going on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna build a new dream aerial. I put the other one in my, I think it's in my ship. Uh, let's go ahead and just throw this one in the spot that that one was in and let's see if it like redoes anything because it might be a one-time use item. I don't know for sure. So there's our uh, first beautiful living frigate. So let's go ahead and let's try this again. Because, I mean, I could see it feels like a one-time use kind of thing. Um, that wouldn't be terrible. It's not super It's it's not super pain to make. Uh, you just kind of make sure you have the, 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 the poop material and the, the gamma root and stuff. But once you get those growing, it's not too bad. So, um, again, I don't know if it's going to make a difference. Because it doesn't say it's awakening and scanning or anything anymore. So... It might not make a difference whatsoever. I just figured we'd try. Oh, hello. Um, ooh. I'm all about getting these eggs, though. Those things are super handy. Uh, neural assembly node. Okay. All right, I'm going to keep pulsing around. Hopefully find another one. All right, so after about an hour of pulsing around, um, I didn't really come across anything exciting except for those two, uh, like those, those two eggs that gave us like, you know, ship parts or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna send our living ship out on a mission, get that going um, on an expedition, and then uh, hopefully we'll get some goodies from that. I don't know the rarity in finding living frigates. Uh, I have, like I said, I've only been, I've been pulsing around for like an hour and I haven't really found anything. So not saying that they're not there, or anything's wrong it's just maybe they're very rare i have no idea so let's see here let's get ourselves a, a mission going shall we so we're going to view potential expeditions now i'm going to go ahead and pick the longest expedition 28 hours that'll be fantastic uh we're going to go ahead and assign uh, um the normandy <laughs> because why not and we're going to assign the organic ship because i want to try getting this leveled up um and then let's see let's also go with Man, these are all critically damaged. I need to go through and fix all of those. Combat, combat, combat. We'll just, all of them. Look at that. Fleet rating, uh, five stars. Amazing. 850 tons of fuel. That's okay. I got plenty of fuel. Uh, like I said, I've been doing these for <laughs> hours. We're going to go ahead and send that. And, uh, okay, combat patrol, 28 hours. Awesome. So that's doing its thing. And actually, you know what? In the meantime, I feel like... We could probably go ahead and send... Ooh, do we have a, do we have enough ships for a Voyage of Discovery right now? <laughs> We've got 
two. Um, let's see. Actually, that might. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. Two S classes. That'll be fine. So we're going to let those guys do their thing. Um, I need to go through and fix all of the other ships. Uh, we did find a couple of things. So nothing super crazy there. And uh, let's see. Did we find anything else here? Let me go through my freighter because I thought there was something. I thought we had some upgrades. Oh, yeah. We got our spawning sack. Okay. So our spawning sack is one of the uh, rewards from our uh, expedition fleets and that will allow us to put a storage slot on our living ship so um yeah those those storage sacks or whatever those are gonna be what we're using to uh to upgrade our starship now ideally what i want is i want to get um view potential expedition so we get we get five a day right um, I essentially want enough for, I want five living freighters, one to send on each one, or frigates, uh, one to send on each one. And I'd like to get two on each one because essentially what happens is when they come back, they hit some anomalies. And during those anomalies is when you have a chance, I believe, to get some of those living ship upgrades. So, um, yeah, there's that. You know what? Let's actually, let's go ahead. Let's skip some time here and let's get the, uh, let's reap the rewards of that mission and just kind of see like what's going on with it. And then also, hold on. I think there was, do we have anything else for the living ship? I thought we had, I thought we had some like egg sack thing or something. Okay. I'm not finding it. All right. So we're going to, we're going to go ahead and skip time a little bit. And then we are going to see what we get from our rewards from our expedition. Ooh, it's exciting. Exciting. All right, we are back. Let's go ahead. Let's see what we uh, our missions should be complete with a little magical time skip there. And let's see what we got out of these. All right. Oh, somebody was damaged on that one. All right. So here we go. First living frigate mission. Calibrating download mission log. Okay, so we've got log entry. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Magnetized ferrite, indium. Uh, nothing. Do we not have any storage ship, uh, storage ship augmentation? Corruption log. Okay, so corruption log. Intercept a fleet of pirates, terrorizing settlement. Did we get anything? So we got a psychotic egg off of that. So these right here, these are because of the living frigate. Those are what we're looking for for upgrades. Um, okay, so we got another one. So we got another psychotic egg. So we got two psychotic eggs from one of those. Now we'll go ahead and uh, we'll end this one as well. But as you can tell from this one, we're not going to have any of the uh, we're not going to have any of those those weird loops or whatever. So let's see here. Exosuit, psychonic egg. So these are going to be upgrades for our living ship. So let's go ahead and let's go on a starship here and let's put those in. So we've got chloroplast membrane implant. Um, this one is going to allow us to recharge our neural assembly. So basically launch thruster regeneration. Ooh, and a scream suppressor node, a good one. Okay, cool. So those are actually upgrades that I really needed. Um, the scream suppressor, especially that is huge. Uh, oh, hold on. We have to install it. So that gives us how our shields go up to 29%. Let's actually go ahead and evolve that one to an S-Class. So 30% there. And then chloroplast membrane implant. Um, evolve, that's going to trigger it into that. So let's go ahead and just set that in here. Um, that one might actually attach to these. Hold on, let's go ahead and move. Let's do a little bit of shifting here. If I shift that there. Shift this here, that there. Let's go ahead and put this one in here. Okay, cool. So that one does connect. So basically that's gonna allow our um, neural assembly to regenerate fuel. So essentially like the, the launch thruster uh, re regeneration kind of deal. That's what that is. And then we did get a, uh, we, got a we got an upgrade for our shields, which is amazing. So those are what we're looking for. Those are the two, th those are, those are the things we're looking for. So that's why I want to get as many of these living frigates as possible because we've got so much storage to augment on this living ship. It's crazy. So we're going to need a lot of those eggs. We're going to have basically have to have like this stuff going all the time. And, um, yeah. And actually, you know what? It's been a day. Technically the game says it's been a day. Let's go out let's pulse around again. Let's see if maybe we can find another frigate. 
all right so additional pulsing still didn't pick up anything but that's okay because that is gonna end it there uh thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe all for things leave a comment down below let me know if you are getting any additional um organic frigates i'm super curious because i don't know if there's like a certain requirement or like a time frame or like you have to do so many jumps or anything like that so you know so uh kind of kind of early in the process but um yeah thanks again for coming out have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one bye everybody